touch with Peter and I'll show you the kind of e-forums that um, are freely available in the UK. And they certainly could be for you as well if you wish to sustain this kind of conversation. Where we could come back to Peter in a month's time. And we could ask in relation to this question about ongoing professional learning, which is one of our standards of practice, where we say we recognize that a commitment to ongoing professional learning is integral to effective practice and to student learning, we could be asking Peter for his account, possibly with the voices of his students as well, which show his ongoing professional learning in relation <coughs> to the student's learning. Now, that would then be like the evidence if Peter was to claim that he was having the kind of influence that he wanted to have. So it's this ongoing commitment to, to look at the nature of your own learning, but also then in relation to the staff you're working with, or if you're the teacher within the classroom, to look at the ongoing learning with your students. And then to engage with the students, because you saw from Croatia how the 10-year-olds are engaging in the research process themselves, and kind of give you the evidence that's needed in a claim that the teacher is influencing the learning of the student. So again, could I just just keep checking that sense of the data as we're talking with each other. Um, is there anybody else that feels, yes, I've got a better sense of the kind of data that I might need to collect so that I can make a judgment uh, about my influence as I'm living my values more fully? So, anybody else? Yes? Yeah. 